Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell that SpaceX is officially targeting a 2026 Mars mission, and they're sending Tesla's Optimus robot first. That's right, in just two years, we could see a humanoid robot walking on the red planet. But here's the kicker. The details behind what Elon is planning are so insane that even NASA veterans are struggling to process. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, bringing you another massive update. Timeline for Optimus going to Mars now unveiled. And we've got the shocking details, so AI Nexus will cover every detail as it unfolds. Let's go. Let's start with the hard facts. During a private SpaceX briefing yesterday, Musk confirmed plans to launch five Starship rockets during the 2026 Earth-Mars transfer window. One of those massive 403-foot-tall vehicles will carry an uncrewed Tesla Optimus unit to the Martian surface. This isn't some conceptual PowerPoint presentation. Hardware is being built right now at Starbase in Texas. The mission has one clear objective. Prove that Starship can land safely on Mars before risking human lives. Now here's where things get wild. Musk isn't just sending Optimus as a passive payload. The robot will be tasked with performing actual preparatory work for future human settlement. We're talking about a humanoid machine walking on another planet, handling tools, and potentially even constructing basic infrastructure. If this works, it would mark the single most ambitious robotics achievement in history. But the timeline has experts divided. While Musk says 2026 is locked in, top astronomers like Derek Pitts believe we're realistically looking at 2050 before the technology is truly ready. Let's break down exactly how this insane mission would work. The journey itself is a nightmare of physics. Between 80 to 150 days of travel covering anywhere from 34 to 250 million miles depending on planetary alignment. Starship would need to execute a propulsive landing through Mars's paper-thin atmosphere something no spacecraft has ever accomplished at this scale. Current Mars landers use parachutes, but Starship's massive size makes that impossible. Instead, it'll have to flip sideways and fire its Raptor engines with impossible precision to avoid crashing. And that's just getting there. Once on the surface, Optimus would face temperatures swinging from minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, constant dust storms, and radiation levels that would fry most electronics. The robot's 5 miles per hour walking speed suddenly becomes a life or death feature when you realize one wrong step could mean mission failure. Musk claims Optimus can carry 45 pounds, but can it do that in Mars' 38% gravity while navigating unpredictable terrain? That remains to be seen. The logistical challenges are even more mind-boggling. Each Mars mission requires something called orbital refueling, essentially a gas station in space. Current estimates suggest this would demand up to 20 additional Starship launches just to fuel one Mars-bound vehicle. We're talking about an unprecedented ballet of spacecraft rendezvous and fuel transfers. All automated, all needing to work perfectly. Then there's the question of what exactly Optimus would do on Mars. SpaceX has been characteristically vague, but leaked documents suggest three primary objectives. Testing mobility systems in Martian gravity and terrain deploying and maintaining solar arrays for power generation, and potentially beginning site preparation for future human habitats. This last point is where things get really sci-fi. Musk has hinted at having Optimus manipulate local materials, essentially using Martian dirt and rocks to create rudimentary structures. The robot's hands, designed for factory work on Earth, would need to handle entirely different tools and substances millions of miles from any human assistance. The financials are equally staggering. Scientific American estimates the full Mars program could cost trillions, yes, with a T. Even for the world's richest person, that's an impossible sum without government partnership. Interestingly, NASA has been suspiciously quiet about these plans, despite their own Mars ambitions. Some insiders suggest there may be behind-the-scenes collaboration happening, while others believe Musk is going full cowboy against NASA's warnings. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Elon's track record with deadlines. From Hyperloop to full self-driving cars to Mars colonization by 2024, the man has a history of wildly optimistic timelines. Even he admits the 2029 crewed mission target is theoretical, with 2031 being more realistic. But here's what's different this time. The hardware actually exists. Starship has flown, albeit with mixed success, 
and Optimus prototypes are walking around Tesla Labs right now. The technological dominoes that need to fall for this to work are almost too numerous to count. Starship must achieve reliable Earth orbit and return. Orbital refueling needs to be perfected. Mars entry, descent, and landing systems require complete redesign. Optimus must be hardened against radiation and extreme temperatures. Autonomous operation systems need near-perfect reliability. Recent Starship tests show both promise and problems. While March's flight ended in explosion, the vehicle did achieve several critical milestones first. This pattern of fail fast, iterate faster, has been SpaceX's MO from the beginning. But Mars leaves no room for error. Perhaps most fascinating is the philosophical shift this represents. For decades, Mars exploration meant rovers specialized machines perfectly adapted for the task. Musk is betting everything on general-purpose humanoids instead. His argument? Future colonies will need robots that can use human tools in spacesuits. It's a gamble that could either revolutionize space robotics or become a very expensive lesson in planetary exploration. As for Optimus itself, the specs are impressive. 5'8", 125 pounds, 5 miles per hour walking speed, 45 pounds carrying capacity. But Mars presents challenges no Earth testing can fully simulate. How will its actuators handle months in zero gravity followed by Martian gravity? Can its vision systems cope with Mars's unique lighting conditions? These are unanswered questions that keep NASA veterans up at night. The radiation issue alone could be a deal breaker. The Earth's magnetic field protects us from cosmic rays, something Mars lacks. Optimus would need shielding that doesn't exist in current models, especially for its delicate AI systems. Some experts suggest the only solution might be burying habitats underground, which raises the question of why send humanoids at all if you're just going to dig tunnels. Then there's the return journey problem. Musk envisions Starship as a fully reusable system, but Mars lacks the infrastructure to refuel for a trip home. The plan apparently involves either producing fuel on Mars, technology that doesn't exist yet, or sending multiple advanced missions to preposition fuel adding years and billions to the timeline. What's truly shocking is how quickly this is all happening. The first full-scale Starship test was just last year. Optimus went from a guy in a spandex suit to walking robots in under three years. The pace is unprecedented in aerospace history, which explains both the excitement and skepticism from experts. University of Arizona's Chris Impey perhaps put it best, implausible, but not impossible. That sums up the entire mission. The laws of physics don't forbid it, but the engineering challenges are staggering. Musk's 2026 target would require solving problems that have puzzled NASA for decades in just two years. Yet consider what SpaceX has already accomplished. They revolutionized rocket landings when experts said it couldn't be done. They're launching more mass to orbit than entire nations. If anyone can pull this off, it's probably them. But Mars is orders of magnitude harder than anything attempted before. The implications of success are world-changing. A working Mars transport system would make lunar bases look trivial by comparison. It would prove that interplanetary civilization is possible within our lifetimes. And it would cement SpaceX's dominance in space for the next century. But failure could set back Mars' ambitions for decades. A high-profile crash might scare off investors and governments from supporting future attempts. The stakes couldn't be higher. Which explains why most space agencies prefer slow, methodical approaches. As we stand on the brink of this audacious attempt, one thing is certain. History will remember 2026 as either the year humanity became interplanetary or the year we learned just how hard space exploration really is. Either way, the next two years will be the most exciting in spaceflight since Apollo. So, what do you think? Is Musk about to make history or repeat it with another missed deadline? The countdown to Mars has officially begun and we'll be here to cover every explosive second of it. Let me know your thought in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe Thanks for tuning and we'll catch you in the next update.